What's up guys? It's Bebe Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, we are going to be spending the morning together and I got up around 7.30, I opened up the blinds and let the sun in and then I made my bed. I have to make my bed as soon as I get up in the morning and if you have a hard time making your bed, just remember that it literally takes like two seconds to make your bed like it doesn't take any time at all you just need to fluff it and fix the pillows and you are good and it just starts the day off with like one little accomplishment so it always makes me feel really good when i make my bed in the morning and it's just a habit for me and then I came in the kitchen and I got a glass of ice water in my mason jar. When it was like winter time, I was drinking hot lemon water in the morning, but now it's like hot when I wake up in the morning. It's already like 80s or 90s outside. So the hot water thing is over for me and I am now just drinking ice water. But if you don't drink water as soon as you wake up in the morning, You've got to start because you should totally hydrate your body before you caffeinate, especially if you drink like a lot of coffee like me. You have been sleeping for so long and your body needs water, so just like have a little bit of water when you wake up. And I like having lemon in mine. One, I think that in a mason jar, it looks aesthetic. And then also the taste of a little bit of lemon I think is really good. So I have been having my iced water with lemon and now i'm gonna make my iced coffee and i have been loving the stoke cold brew you guys it is so good and i went to the store again what's new but i am back to drinking the stoke bold and smooth and i like this one better than the yellow label one which is like the bright and mellow and i just think that that one is a little bit too light for me i like my cold brew to be like a little bit like stronger so i think this one is like the perfect in between and I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but a lot of you guys have been telling me to try out the one that is the orange label. And the reason I personally don't want to drink that one is because it does have cane sugar in it. And I just don't want to drink those extra sugars every morning. So that's why I personally just won't buy that one i won't drink it it's fun to treat yourself like and go to starbucks and like get a drink and stuff but it's just not something that i want to drink every day and then i've also been loving the milk oat milk i just picked this up at whole foods and i'm obviously back from arizona and when i got home i had like nothing in my fridge so i did a little whole foods run and they didn't have the almond milk one so i was kind of bummed and then they were also out of the oatly oat milk so they were just like completely out of everything so i just got this one but the reason i really like it is just because it has such simple ingredients in it it only has filtered water organic gluten-free oats and himalayan salt but it just has a really good taste to it so oh and also there's two grams of protein per serving but I'm just gonna make my iced coffee. I really need coffee. I have a video going up at 9 a.m. So I like to be on my phone or my computer right when the video goes up so I can comment back to you guys because you're always commenting noti gang or first or early or notification squad and I literally love it so if you want to be part of the noti gang then turn on my upload notifications and I totally understand if you guys can't watch the video right at 9, like you guys have a life too. But I just think it's fun when you guys are able to watch it right away and I can comment back to you guys and answer any questions you might have or, you know, just like say thank you so much for being here, supporting me. Like it's literally so sweet when you guys are commenting and 
just engaging with my videos. So I like to do that. And I have a couple emails to write this morning, so I'm gonna do that as well. And then I have another video to finish editing and send to the brand so I can get approval on it. So that is what I'm gonna be working on this morning. Also, can we talk about my hair for a second? Like, why is this like so, I don't even know, curled out. <laughs> I didn't even do that to my hair yesterday when I, or when I dried my hair and curled it. Like, I actually curled it, but I like woke up this morning after I like brushed it out and it's like very, I don't know. So, I need to shower. <laughs> It's now 10.06 and I'm going to make some breakfast. I love having the iconic baby hay breakfast, but today I'm going to have oatmeal, which is another one that I really like to have and I've been eating a lot lately. So I just got a pot out. Once the water is boiling, I add a half a cup of rolled oats and... Usually I have it in my pop containers, but I just wanted to show you the bag of it. It's the Bob's Red Mill Old Fashioned Rolled Oats, and I just picked this up at Whole Foods the other day, and it didn't all fit into the pop container, but I get the gluten-free one. My oatmeal recipe is different than my overnight oats, so just make sure you don't get those confused. Adding a tablespoon of chia seeds, a splash of vanilla extract, and some cinnamon. My peanut butter is almost out, but this is the crunchy dark roasted, so I just do a spoonful of peanut butter with the oatmeal. I always like to eat my breakfast outside when it's warm out. It just feels so nice and then I get some vitamin D. But for the oatmeal when I'm cooking it, sometimes I'll add banana or protein powder or flaxseed or whatever. It just depends on what I have and what I'm feeling. But this is just a simple oatmeal with blueberries and peanut butter. After I finish my oatmeal, I'm gonna go down to the gym and do 12 3 30. i was watching lauren geraldo's youtube video the other day she's the creator of 12 3 30 and she just made an instagram of 12 3 30 and i haven't followed it yet i totally forgot so i'm gonna follow that and it's like actually spelled out the words 12 3 30. I just made it down here. I'm just wearing this set from Gymshark. You guys have seen this so many times. And then I got my water. This is my 64 ounce water. I try to drink at least one of these every day. And I will link my Amazon storefront because this is on there in case you guys want to get it. But I'm just going to do 12 3 30. shower and dried my hair and I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys about my hair because I have literally never been this happy with my hair before and I want to thank pros for partnering with me on this video. I got my shampoo conditioner and pre-shampoo mask from them. Basically what pros does is they create customized hair care for you based on your personal hair analysis and their algorithm and they have literally over 50 billion formula combinations so the products that you get are truly tailored to you and your hair and I absolutely love mine I think that it smells amazing like the fragrance is so good the one that I got 
and then also just like the consistency of it and the way that it makes my hair feel and not to mention the bottles are so cute it says for Haley and the shampoo has straight and smooth on it clarify and cleanse the conditioner has lift and body and volume building and then the pre-shampoo mask says to use on links and it's a moisture fix but basically what you do is you go onto the pros website and you take a hair quiz that has a ton of questions and I was honestly kind of shocked at how many questions it asked but the more questions it asked like the more it made me excited to try it because I was like, dang, this is actually so customized to me. It literally asked things like your eating habits, exercise, your zip code, and it like bases things off of like your environment. So there's so many things that go into it on top of just like the type of hair that you have. And I know that I've talked about this before, but I've had so many issues with it being super frizzy and my hair just feels so amazing now like it is softer smoother shinier like overall i think that my hair is like so much better and they have another cool feature it's their review and your it's their review and refine so basically you can tweak your formula if anything changes in your life like your zip code or you're coloring your hair or your eating habits so if there are things that change you can definitely like adjust it so that your formula changes and they also have a flexible subscription service and as a member you get a lot of benefits and there are things that you get like discounts or free shipping on your subscription and complimentary products and you can also get flexibility to like refill or pause your subscription at any time so there's just so many wonderful things about pros that i am in love with and if you guys are wanting to try it you can click the link in my description box or go to try.pros.com slash hey to do your free hair quiz and get ten dollars off your first order and if you want to get an additional 15 percent off then you can join their membership program the salon i think my hair looks so good and i'm so happy so i think you guys will really love it i'm about to do my makeup and sorry if you guys like hear that like loud noise sometime i swear every time an airplane drives by it is so dr airplane drives by i cannot believe i just said that when an airplane flies over i swear it is so loud so i just wanted to say that but i am gonna do my makeup and i know some of you guys have been asking for an everyday makeup routine so We'll kind of go over that right now. This is like my last thing I need to do to get ready. The rain. It is pouring outside. It didn't even say that it was going to rain on the weather. But now it is. It says drizzle and this is not drizzle. This is like dumping rain. But it's only supposed to last for 20 minutes, so that's good. I'm not even kidding. So if you guys are new here, I used to live in Seattle. And I moved to Vegas a year and a half ago. Wow, yeah. A year and a half ago. In like a month. And I hate the rain. Like I'm literally not a fan of rain at all. It starts raining and I'm like, well guess i have to stay inside all day <laughs> like can't go anywhere i'm just like i shut down when the rain starts but yeah back to the makeup i'm using the it cosmetic cc cream and i like that this has spf in it and i use the shade light but this is the only 
like foundation that I have like I don't have an actual foundation I'm not even joking you guys like this product is like the only thing that I use I have so many of these <laughs> And I'll buy like different shades for different seasons. I haven't done self tanner in a while. Oh my gosh. So it's not really been matching that well. I am like struggling right now. Hasn't been matching. But I just try to blend it like really far down into my neck. So that you can't really tell. And then I use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And this is in the shade 1W. And I did try to use the NARS like Radiant Creamy Concealer. But I just felt like, I don't know if it was just the one color I got didn't look good. But I don't know. I just feel like that concealer doesn't have like a perfect shade for me so i'm back to the laura mercier one and it's not that i don't like this one i just wanted to try something new but it didn't work out very well for me <laughs> this is the charlotte tilbury contour wand this is in the shade fair medium and i did talk about how messy this is but do you see like the tip of it it is like dripping everywhere so keep that in mind if you use this like i don't think it's the best packaging of product just because like my foot's falling asleep just because it like gets so messy, but I like love the actual product. And for this, I just like to use a beauty blender. You hear that? There's another airplane. <laughs> I feel like my beauty blender doesn't always like blend this all that well. Like, could you imagine if I left it just like that? So. I go back over it with my brush. Next, I use the Charlotte Tilbury blush wand. And again, this is like, see like when it is, maybe I just like, I'm doing it wrong, but I need a paper towel. I think I need to go buy another beauty blender so that I don't like mix them. I do have two beauty blenders, but this one's like kind of old and I want to throw it away. So now after I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I just set my makeup with this and then I'm gonna do my bronzer this is the Marc Jacobs bronzer and I love how big this is I've had this for so long And then I take my like regular brush and I just like blend and get all of the translucent powder off. And then lastly for the face, I just do a little bit of contour or like bronzer to contour my nose. Actually, I forgot. I also add the iconic highlighter i do a little bit above my lip tip of my nose it's kind of a lot and then around my eyes 
so that is my full like face makeup and I do it different some days but that's just how I'm doing it today for sure I just need to do my brows and lips and eyeshadow and all the rest of it so it would be too long if I included it in this video that's my makeup and I still can't get over the fact that it is so bright out right now and the rain lasted like 10 minutes but I'm so happy about that. I know some people have asked me if I would ever move back to Seattle. And no. I really don't think I would ever move back there. Even though like I have family there. That weather is just not for me. And I'd rather go visit or have them visit me here. So this girl is not going to be moving to Seattle. <laughs> In case you were wondering. <laughs> finished getting ready and I was literally just looking at the weather app because it says that it's 75 degrees out but in two days it's going to be 93 like I literally don't understand why it's so weird today but this morning I was going to take these shots and I totally forgot so I'm going to do it right now but I got these at Whole Foods this one is the wellness shot with ginger and then this one is the vitality shot with turmeric and I don't take these like on a daily basis so I can't tell you if they give me like all these health benefits but I know that they are like good for you and I'm just going to read it on the Instagram because like I don't want to say it wrong but the wellness shot says that it provides digestive and immune support along with natural energy that you get from the ginger and cayenne pepper. And then the turmeric shot says that it is filled with potassium packed coconut water and turmeric, which is a known anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. So I'm gonna take these. I did try them from Whole Foods that weekend that was like Caitlin's birthday weekend and I like them so I just wanted to try them again and then they had another one that's their like intense defense one that was zinc and vitamin C and I bought two of those and I already took those but now I know that if you're gonna take both like a ginger shot you should do ginger first and then turmeric after so you have like a chaser <laughs> because the ginger one is like oh it makes you go like <laughs> so i'm gonna take the ginger one hopefully i don't die and then i'm gonna finish and chase with the turmeric Ugh. literally so bad <laughs> Okay, survived. <laughs> the ginger one is so awful. I hate ginger. It's like so spicy with the cayenne pepper in there. But hopefully my body has now all the good health benefits that it needs. <laughs> Health is wealth, you guys. I'm feeling good. <laughs> so I've decided that I don't want to make a full lunch right now. Oh, the computer is about to die. My brother is texting me. <laughs> I don't want to make a full lunch right now. So I'm just gonna have this bar. It's the chocolate lover bar from Your Super and as dates, almonds, chocolate lover, and sea salt. So I'm just gonna have this. And I didn't finish all of like the editing and stuff that I needed to do that I talked about earlier this morning. Wow, I'm opening this so bad. So I'm gonna work on that right now but i do hope you guys enjoyed spending the morning with me i basically do some of the same things every morning so it's just kind of like a morning routine but when you wake up in the morning 
open the blinds and let the sunlight in make your bed it goes so fast so like you can just do it super quick and I don't know just like tell yourself it's gonna be a great day that's something that I do just like stay positive and like make my days good is like I tell myself like it's gonna be a great day and then I make it a great day but I'm gonna be starting a new vlog soon so you guys can stay tuned for the next video but I'm gonna close this one out here so if you guys liked it, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.